Problem seven, we're taking a look at a couple of equations and wondering if they're going to be linear or quadratic. So are they gonna be a line or are they gonna make a parabola? The major difference between those is a parabola, if you think of a, a parabola, it is y equals x squared. So if we have something with an x squared, in general, that's gonna be a parabola, okay? So, if I take a look at problem B, y equals 3x squared, and problem D, problem D looks a little bit different, but if I want to get y by itself, I would just subtract 7 from both sides and get y equals 4x squared plus 3x minus 7. That now is also a parabola. So B and D are both parabolas. Now, if I want to look at A and C, are those going to be linear? A looks a little bit different. It's 5x plus 2y equals 7. Normally, we have a line as y equals mx plus b. So I could subtract the 5x from both sides and get 2y equals negative 5x plus 7. And then divide everything by 2. And even though I'm going to get some decimals, it's still going to be a linear equation. So y-intercept to 3.5, slope of negative 2.5 or negative 5 over 2 would be your slope. Problem C doesn't even have any x's. However, that is going to be any, a line that's going to look like this at a value of 3. It's going to be a horizontal line. The reason why it's a horizontal line is every coordinate point on that line, no matter which one you pick, the x value is going to change, but the y value will be 3 every time. So it doesn't matter what coordinate point, doesn't matter what that is, your y value is 3 every time. So that's the line y equals 3. So a and c are both linear. Parabolas are going to be b and d.